Hi guys, Jen here with Blessed by Angels, and today I wanted to talk about an important element of mindfulness, movement. Now you might be thinking, how is movement even a part of being mindful, of being meditative? How does that even work? For some people, sitting still and trying to quiet their mind isn't the fastest or the easiest way to get started. So I always like to help people understand that meditation and being mindful, there are several ways of being mindful. Movement is a huge one. So whether it be going for a walk, going for a bike ride, going for a hike, giving yourself the space to just focus on what it is that you're doing. So let's use going for a walk as an example of a movement mindfulness activity. As you're going for a walk, I want you to think about your sound, your feet hitting the pavement. What does that sound like? And as you're first walking through that, you're noticing, okay, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe heel, toe, heel, toe. And as you're walking, you might all of a sudden realize, oh, look at that. Look at that person decorate their house. Right back down to heel, toe, heel, toe. Maybe there's a dog barking. We want you to focus on just what it sounds like for your heat, your feet to hit the pavement. Once you've done that for a while, now it's time to look around and notice all of the trees that are around you. What do those trees look like? What colors are they? How big are they? Are they big trees? Are they little trees? Are there only bushes around? Notice the nature. And when your mind starts racing, because it will, I want you to focus back on nature. Focus back on that plant. And as you walk by the plant, find the next plant to stare at and look at and watch. If there's someone mowing their lawn, what does that sound like? What are you hearing as you're walking? And just acknowledge what it is that you're hearing as you're moving your body. What it is that you can, what can you smell as you're walking? Do you smell someone's laundry? Do you smell someone's garbage can? What is it that you smell? As you're taking a walk. It might sound very simple, but as you're able to focus on your five senses as you're walking, as you're in movement, it will help train your mind to be more still, to be more focused. And being out in nature is absolutely one of the best ways to be able to revive your spirit so that you can connect in to receive inspiration, to receive your own inspiration, to receive healing, to receive more insight on your spiritual gifts or to connect to your loved ones. It all starts with being mindful in the moment and being outside is the perfect way to use your body if it's hard for you to sit still. Give this exercise a try and see if it helps. Mm -hmm.